So today we're identifying the energy. Here we see chemical energy in the wax of the candle being transformed into light and heat. There's an oil lamp transforming chemical energy into light and heat. All we're doing is looking around us and identifying forms of energy, mechanical energy, because something's moving, making sound, vibration, pitch, how high or low that sound is. Volume is how loud or soft the sound is. Pitch is whether it's a high note or a low note. Of course, sound is caused by the vibration of objects. Here we're seeing electrical energy being transformed into light. Computers transform that electrical energy into light and sound. We're just listening to some light music in the background. There's my walkie-talkie, another electrical device that uses batteries. Oh, here we've got the washing machine using electrical energy, mechanical to turn that washing machine, electrical energy in the coffee maker, and the microwave to create heat. Just identifying forms of energy that are around us. Light, heat, sound, chemical, electrical, mechanical. Here we've got some electricity. We've got light, we've got mechanical energy in the air conditioner being used to cool my house and to turn the hands of the clock and you see the pendulum going back and forth there. The electrical energy of the television transformed into light. The fan is mechanical energy because something's in motion, it's moving. My Jeep uses the chemical energy of the gas in the engine to cause motion and because things are in motion we've got mechanical energy. And this little Jeep is being moved by my hand. That's the cause of that mo motion. Don't forget wind and water as sources of energy too. Moving air, which is wind, and moving water can be used as sources of energy. For example, my canoe can be moved by wind and water as well as the mechanical energy of me paddling the canoe. Here we're using chemical energy to transform into heat and light to create that chemical change of cooking changes the steak so that I can eat it, makes my coffee for the morning, makes our chicken and biscuits for dinner, some black beans for lunch, that chemical energy. All we're doing is identifying what's going on, what's the form of energy. We identify chemical energy, heat energy, light, cooking. Those look like delicious scrambled eggs. Toasted marshmallows, roasting marshmallows over a fire, boiling water, physical change brought on by heat, and of course, some good old-fashioned mechanical energy just to relax and toss the ball back and forth. All right, guys, identifying forms of energy around us.